Hello and welcome to the Mesh Deformation tutorial in Unity 5 Cube. This is a next part of the Mesh Deformation plane. It's a previous tutorial. I hope you will enjoy it and get some information around Mesh Deformation. Cube is a basic shape that can be deformated with also special functions. You can see. Ok, so this is our editor. Let's create some simple sketch. I'm going to draw a really simple cube. Our cube has 8 verticals, 6 faces, 12 edges, 12 triangles and 36 vertexes of triangles. Every triangle has a 3 points and every face has a 6 points because 3 plus 3 is a 6. So our world cube has a 36 verticals with verticals of the triangles. You can see in the editor we have 8 basic points or spheres. Ok, now let's go to see what we have in the script. We have a third variable, point, editable boolean and material. Basic thing to make a cube are points or verticals. This is a vector free list that is used as x, y and z position. This is a static cube. Triangles are second main function to make a cube. There is used combinatorix. It's the most recent thing to make a cube with logic thinking. Normals and UV maps are simply functions that are displaying the textures and shaders. Without normals, your cube will hasn't got any shadows and light reflections. And without UV maps, your cube will can't generate any maps or textures as well. These functions are directed to all directions for each point. Of course, if we want a rigid body on our cube, we should have a mesh collider. Let's go to see what happens. Turn off editable mode and load. Our mesh has been generated with all shaders and meshes can be scaled, rotated and moved. This is a static cube. Let's go to see a dynamic editable mesh of the cube. Everything is still the same, but instead numbers are variables, are points. You can see our points are simply easy placed with all position numbers. And other functions are too same like a static cube. Enable editable mode, make some texture and test it. You can see Arrow Mesh works perfectly. This is everything from this tutorial. I make a little sign with name. How to use a mesh deformation or where we can use mesh deformation? It's really cool to use it some of them. Ok guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial 
and get some information. If you have more questions or you need something, just comment. Thanks for watching.